some products from Shea Moisture skincare line. The products that I'm talking about today are from the African Black Soap line. And this line is geared for um, troubled skin, oily skin, blemished skin. So basically for the dramatic skin, okay? So a little while back, I posted a haul video on the channel um, and I said that these products were actually given as a gift to Ty. Like I bought them for him, but he has not used it in like a year. Like I bought these a year ago and he still hasn't used them. So I kind of like hauled them from his sink and you know, I didn't want them to go bad or anything like that. So I decided to test them out and see how they would work on my skin because my skin is very oily. It's very problematic and it definitely has blemishes. Okay. <laughs> So once again, I purchased these products a long time ago. Um, I purchased them from Target in like a gift set. In that gift set came the Problem Skin Facial Mask, which looks like this. The Balancing Moisturizer here, as well as the Facial Wash and Scrub. I'm having a hard time saying that, okay? <laughs> Another item that came in the gift set, they usually like have four products, was a bar soap. So he actually did use the bar soap. So at the time, I believe I paid $17.99 for it. At the moment, it's running about $19.99 on the website. If you were to purchase the scrub on its own, like on Target's website, um, it's going to be about $7.19 and it settles for four ounces. This one here, again, came in the kit and this is a 4.4 ounce bottle. The mask is running about $11.99 for four ounces. The moisturizer that I have here says it's 1.7 ounces, but on Target's website it's saying that it's $11.99 for two ounces. So, so, Alright, so as you may know, um, I have a pretty simple skincare routine and I will put that in the description box below. But I really like to keep it simple with my skin and I'm very, very selective um, as to like what I choose to treat my skin with. So I've used Shea Moisture's body lotions in the past as face lotions without issue. Um, so I was comfortable with trying these products out on my skin. Right, so first up is the Organic African Black Soap and Tamarind Facial Wash and Scrub. This is basically supposed to be a, you know, a facial scrub that you use a few times a week to kind of exfoliate your skin as well as kind of deep clean it now for me personally again because I have very oily skin and my pores you know especially when my chin get disgusting um, I actually had no issue using this daily when I was testing it out it was very gentle on my skin it didn't cause me any irritation or anything like that although it's recommended to use it like three times a week it does also say you know you can use it as required so, so some of the ingredients are as follows water African black soap sodium laurel lactylate I think I said that wrong glycerin vegetable emulsifying wax stearic acid there's some mango seed oil in here there's coconut tamarind olive oil there's also some tea tree oil in here as well as some orange and lemon um, there is a lot of ingredients in here that is perfect for fighting acne so this is actually a really thick scrub you see it takes a while to come out inside the creamy consistency is these um, a lot of jojoba beads so they're like these black little round scrubbers that kind of help exfoliate your skin. But the beads do not dissolve like into your skin, like they don't melt or anything like that. I personally like that in a scrub because um, it kind of lets me know that it's kind of working versus like I put it on and then the beads automatically kind of like disappear. Although the beads don't necessarily dissolve into your skin or anything like that, I find that they're not really like harsh on my skin. So the scent of the product is kind of like, um, it kind of smells like a basic soap. <laughs> It smells really really natural like it it's almost unscented but it's not unscented like you can kind of smell a little bit of a mint okay <laughs> it's not really heavily scented is what I'm pretty much trying to say <laughs> for me personally the amount that I put on my hands to show you you know the consistency of the product is pretty much the amount of the product that I use um, I find that like if I use too much of the product it takes a really long time for the jojoba beads to rinse off um, because they're really really tiny so like you'll have like black dots all over the place so I find that that little bit of product actually cleans my skin really really well and it doesn't leave behind any residue no oil you know nothing like that so what I've been doing to incorporate this into my regimen is I don't use it like all the time I used it like straight on when I was testing it out but now you know I'm kind of like back to my normal regimen but I would incorporate this on days when I don't want to use baking soda because it's a lot gentler on my skin also want to note that I wouldn't really depend on this to remove like makeup or anything like that I would use it solely as an exfoliating scrub I actually prefer to use it in the morning like when I don't have any makeup to remove and it works perfect that way so I give it a thumbs up all right so let's talk about the problem skin facial mask and this also is with tamarind and tea tree oil and it says clear and balanced blemished oily skin this is supposed to be kind of like a treatment for your face to kind of you know 
calm everything down. It says here that it's a deep cleansing facial mask that draws out impurities, absorbs excess oil, and helps refine the skin with African black soap and raw shea butter. It also says that it helps address um, skin problems associated with acne. So the direction said to apply to clean dry skin once or twice a week as needed, avoiding the eye area and allow it to set for five to 10 minutes. You rinse with cool water, patch your skin dry, moisturize and keep it moving. So some of the ingredients are as follows, deionized water, kaolin clay, bentonite clay, African black soap, jojoba oil, sulfur, vegetable emulsifying wax, shea butter. Once again, there's great acne fighting ingredients in all of these products. The color and the texture of this product is like a blue gray color. It's really pretty. And it's actually really loose. So if I like pour it over, it's gonna tip out. I mean, if I'm gonna tip it over, it's gonna pour out. <laughs> like that and it's really really smooth so sometimes in the winter time when my skin gets ridiculously dry um, I'll just take like an avocado and like you know smoosh it up real good and put it on my skin and it feels almost like this where it's like really slippery really moisturizing that's exactly what this feels like it so. smells like mud and baby powder <laughs> Something like that. I don't know y'all, but it definitely smells like mud, which makes sense because there is like clay and stuff in here. So that is expected. So what I like about the product is the fact that it's really, really smooth on my skin. Again, it feels kind of like I am giving my skin a lot of nourishment when I use this. And although it says that it's supposed to absorb the oil, I find that it kind of is more moisturizing than oil absorbing. So another thing that I noticed with the mask is that it takes quite a bit of effort for me to be able to wash it off. Um, so like when I go to rinse my face off, because the product is so moisturizing and it leaves the moisture behind on my skin, um, it takes a while to like rinse completely off of my skin. Um, so after the product is no longer visible on my skin, I can still kind of feel it. In fact, if I use like a cotton ball to like go over my skin after using the mask, you can see that there is residue from the product left behind on my skin. Um, so it definitely, for me, does not rinse off completely clean. To combat that, I actually prefer to use this mask before for actually washing my face. So the way I use it is kind of like a pre-poo <laughs> for my skin, like a pre-no poo, or I guess it would be poo because it's like a soap. So something like that. <laughs> All right, so last but not least is the balancing moisturizer. And this also is with tamarind and tea tree oil. Um, and it also says for blemished and troubled skin. It says here that this soothing lightweight daily moisturizer manages oil and shine without clogging pores while allowing the skin to take in oxygen and breathe freely provides an excellent base for makeup. So I do want to note that the packaging is awesome because it's a glass jar. It's a very thick glass jar. So even if you drop it like me and you break the top like that, um, the jar should kind of hold up. So, hmm. but the moisturizer is a very, very thick cream. See, once you start to work it in, it turns really, really white. And it actually does the same thing on my skin, but even though it goes on like really white like that, um, it actually absorbs really, really quick into my skin. <laughs> so now let's talk about the smell. Okay, y'all, I'm gonna keep it real with you. The smell of this cream is, it's not that great, okay? It's not that great. It kind of, it just does not smell good. It kind of reminds me of like, <laughs> to me this cream smells kind of like cheese, feet, and something else, okay? When I actually first smelled this product, um, I was really, really hesitant to put it on my skin, especially if I was going to use it at night and like, you know, I'm going to bed with my man and stuff. Okay. I didn't necessarily want the scent to, you know, linger and stuff like that. But I will say that it does not linger. Um, it does stay around for about 10 minutes or so, something like that. But it is very strong in the beginning. Um, so the way that I decided to combat that, and it works fantastic, is I like to use one drop of tea tree oil and it completely kills the smell like instant like it was never there so that's what I like to do when I use this cream on my face <laughs> so in spite of the smell I actually really really like this moisturizer it definitely controls oil it's definitely a matte finish which is very very difficult to find in a moisturizer for a long time I was looking for a moisturizer that would allow me to be able to rock my nude face skin um, without you know having to put on a primer to rock my nude face skin <laughs> This one definitely is perfect for that because it goes on completely matte. Now, with that being said, because it does not necessarily give any extra oil to your skin, um, certain places on my skin in particular around certain times of year, um, I need a little bit more moisture. <laughs> if I apply this moisturizer around my eye area when it's cold outside, it will definitely start to emphasize 
fine lines and you know any wrinkles and stuff like that that I have going on around my eye area so what I plan on doing with this moisturizer in particular since it is great for oil control um, is I'm planning on saving it for like later on like once it starts to warm up again and once my skin starts to be excessively oily um, I also want to add that when I was using these like daily um, my skin really didn't have any like major issues like it wasn't really breaking out and stuff like that it was very very calm and under control so I do think that these are great if you are struggling once again with oil um, or acne and things like that and also if you want to use something that's more gentle on your skin and you know that uses better ingredients than a lot of the drugstore products out there I would say check this line out because it definitely did deliver in the fact of oil control and you know not causing me to break out excessively or anything like that all right so this wraps up my review for the Shea Moisture African Black so problem skin, blemish skin, oily skin line. <laughs> As always, I really hope this video was helpful. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more videos. And I will see you very soon in another one. Take care. My skin has always caused me problems. Okay, see, temple, two, two of them right there. Okay. <laughs> but I digress, let's get to the review. Be sure to check out my channel homepage for lots more to watch. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more. Have a great day.